What's up guys, Ryan from the MXG channel here. Behind me I've got the Stark Bard. Now if you've been watching this channel, well, recently you know I've been riding this thing. Me and a couple other buddies from AOMC have been putting this thing through the paces. We've had it on multiple motocross tracks, public and private. We've had it on turn tracks. We've had it on some pretty gnarly single track, including water, uh, roots, rocks. Uh, we've taken it through the, through the paces. I've got to get a really good feel for it because not only have I rode it in places that I didn't know the trail, I've also ridden it on places uh, in my own trails where I know every single line and I know the correct path and how to dodge every rock and root and obstacle. And I'm telling you, it makes a big difference um, in those two scenarios. So today I want to talk about the five things I love about this bike the most and they're just the five that come to the top of my mind whenever I think about that and then we'll go over a little bit uh, from each one I want to start with uh, the two obvious points the whole reason we ride electric bikes to begin with so number one is going to be convenience uh, there's just something that's just so nice about just plugging this in to a regular wall outlet coming in even if even if it's at zero percent i come back in four hours and it's completely charged so you know i get home from work i want to ride i don't have to worry about getting gas i don't have to check any fluids i don't have to change any fluids um, the only maintenance i might have to do to this thing is going to be all visual so uh tightening the chain and checking the tire pressures maybe bleeding the forks that's going to be about it it's just so, so easy. Uh, electric makes everything convenient. That's one of my favorite things. And then number two is gonna be power. So obviously no combustion engine can have this level of power because we all know how an electric motor works with virtually instant torque. But it goes a step further. We know this bike's 80 horsepower. If electric bikes have had a uh, an issue in the past it's been power delivery because uh, obviously you don't want to twist that throttle and have all the power delivered instantly because then you're just going to spin that's been the, the problem in the past and that's not the problem with this bike whatever they've done they've nailed the power delivery pretty perfectly uh, it comes on smooth but still hits and pulls and carries way harder than my 450 SXF if I have it uh, in a high enough mode. So number one, convenience, number two, power. Uh, number three has to be sound for me. Um, you know, yes, it's cool to have a sound when you hit the throttle. And I put up a couple videos of me just rolling down the road and it sounds like this thing is a jet on, a, on, a, on a, uh, an airstrip runway about to take off. So. Yes, you still have plenty of sound for you, the rider. You can hear the motor spool up. You have enough feedback to get an idea of where you are in the power, where you are in the throttle. Uh, that's not a problem. What you don't have is those hundred decibels that carry all across the land to your neighbors two miles away and just upset people and annoy people. Um, that's what you don't have, but you still have a very cool sound. There's no lack of sound on this thing. Uh, if there's bikes out here on the track racing, yes, you can hear them, uh, but yet you can still talk over them, have a conversation, play music in the pits, um, not have to wear ear protection. Uh, so sound is my number three. So we've got convenience, power, sound, Fourth would be the KTM spec that they went with on this bike. Um, obviously, not everything's KTM spec, but you know, rotor, sprocket. Um, I think the wheels can be set up if you have the right spacers. That's all going to work. Um, the braking components. Sorry, my dog's rolling around in the leaves behind the camera. Um, that was a smart move by Stark. Obviously, because KTM has such a huge market share. Uh, it just makes sense to do that, and I think that was a brilliant move. 
And then number five, just a little bit of icing on the cake for me has to be the toolkit. It looks like. So open up. It's pretty cool. As far as I'm aware, you have virtually everything you need here to take your Stark Varg completely apart. So that toolkit is, uh, it's classy and it's functional too. And no other bike I've ever seen has come with more than a little, like a little pack toolkit that would go into the seat uh, or something like that. So this is very awesome and uh, I think Stark did a great job with that. Uh, so that's just the five things that come top of mind when someone asks me, what do you like best about the Stark Varg? Uh, if you like this video and you appreciate these videos, there's two things you can do to help me out. One, you grab your dirt bike parts from AOMC.MX in the link below. Or two, you can grab your Stark Varg from AOMC.MX. Deposits are open. We're going to be getting our special orders priority very quickly uh, and we're going to have floor models relatively soon as well so we're asking for a thousand dollar deposit and uh, we'll take care of you so you can pm me or you can just email um, sales at aomc.mx or call john um, at the dealership and we'll take care of you uh, we would really appreciate you grabbing your stark bar from us definitely hit the uh, subscribe button because my next video this is going to be the five things I hate about the Stark Varg, and uh, you're not going to want to miss that one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.